welcome back to my series where we talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today I'm stitching together a project so this is going to look a bit different and I want to talk about some gods that I relate to for all of the wrong reasons. We are going to start off with everybody's least favorite Hera. So when I was in high school I dated this one dude who cheated on me and I like an idiot stayed with him. I would say that that point in my life, I was the worst version of myself. I was very angry all the time because when you stay with the cheater, sometimes you have to gaslight yourself, you know, and not blame the right person. And um, so, yeah, all of that misplaced rage goes somewhere. I personally wouldn't take it out on the kids. That's her business, though. Um, but I do relate to that unbridled rage she seems to feel. Next, we're gonna have to say Artemis because perpetual girlhood sounds great. I mean, I think I'm probably done maturing at this point. I probably stopped maturing somewhere in my 20s because um, having a kid definitely was hard back then. But anyways, um, I would love to learn archery and charm small animals and live that kind of life. The chastity thing? Don't know that I can handle that part. Next, we have Dionysus. While I may have been the golden child of my nuclear family on my maternal side of the family, I was definitely more of a black sheep. And um, they find me pretentious. I find them a bit stubbornly ignorant, you know? I wouldn't get as gruesome as Dionysus gets with them. They don't deserve that type of punishment, but I have no contact with all of them. Let's just say that. <laughs> Next we have Athena. So my view of femininity has always been a bit warped because as a little girl, I just wanted to fit in with my paternal side of the family, like the group of men in that group. It just so happens though that they are mostly neurodivergent. So my armor, so to speak, was Star Trek and 70s and 80s music. To some extent, my critique of her as a pick-me is very much a critique of myself as a pick-me back when I was a young girl. 